what is happening everybody welcome to this next video in my age of darkness guides and today we're going to be talking about effective defenses and how to set up your sort of points to effectively save your keep and ultimately gain that victory that you want for this um obviously we are in early access so some of the things i talk about are subject to change um but yeah it is being recorded on the 20th of october so as you can see on the screen we've got a defense set up and um yeah it's a, it's a decent defense, not perfect. Um, as you see, I'm building some more ground blist, uh, blister. And as you can tell, this is a um, post commentary. I've tried to do record a few of these things. And this run, what I'm going to show you, um, captured the best of what I saw. Some of the good defenses, some of the things that I didn't do so well. I'll try and give you a, a good picture of what's going on. First thing I want to talk about defenses and when you're getting to this sort of stage. So this is the second from last uh, Death Knight is make sure you save sort of a day day or two before um the death night that gives you the opportunity to then go back and readdress your um defenses if you need to um and you don't waste that progress because the games are long one of my criticisms of the game but still thoroughly enjoy it um obviously when you do get a death night you're going to get some of the malices and if you get the one that has vision loss then yeah you, your defenses might not survive and there's just not too much that you can do about that purely because yeah like 30 percent off of what i've got here a lot of these defenses wouldn't be working but you know there's only so much you could do um on the screen you're seeing also the skills that i've used i've um, got full down to um went down to the knockout and concussive shot to, to do that pushback and stun and also for the um range it was pure damage into double damage when they're housed and that as you can see is helping me significantly defend here now this is on easy i do a lot of my uh, videos like this sort of how to guides on easy because it gets me to the point where i can try a lot of the defenses really really quickly or quicker um but it's the same here and you'll see later on i come back to this sort of location tweak my defenses for the final sort of push final stand um but because of that pinch point that you can see on the screen whether it's 2000 whether it's 10,000 it doesn't really matter because they can't all swarm through and that that is one of the, the sort of things that i want to talk about here is that that sort of pinch point type area and yeah it's you know identifying places like that are are so good um you know but obviously showcasing this one as you can see here in the top of my sort of map they're sort of getting pummeled i can see where that's a weakness coming so if this is a more sustained battle they would slowly but surely get through i have some backups that could push that back but use these first early stages to understand where your defenses are weak and then plan for, for the final stance to re-come back and and do them and in this case for me it's utilizing that pinch point um sort of in the middle left of the screen as you can see here and exploiting that so much that i, I don't actually need the towers that are using now because i just exploit that pinch point later on but when you get to sort of this sort of time you know use that repair it is really really good you need to again i'm sitting there trying to focus fire down on some of the range guys um it's yeah really, really useful just to try and take them out now sort of as i know you know we're in the, the low hundreds to come down i'm starting to now plan ahead right how can i do it let's go and get them resources which i don't really need let's start to rebuild um because at this moment in time there's no day night cycle it's just literally kill all them nightmares remaining and your resources are ticking over so exploit that you know i've got max wood at the moment on on there start to build up your units you see i'm training arbalists uh, and i've got them to go into that location so that i can start to rebuild um into that pinch point there's one to go doesn't matter there it goes daybreak is now approached i'm um, gonna get our blessing and you've got nightmare fuel crystal scout and motivated layman um i quite like motivated layman the construction costs down are really really good um also as well as that one which is the um speed it's quicker so then one's 15 percent. i think is really really good 50 percent less resources 15 percent for the other one for uh the, the quickness um i obviously could have picked things like understanding where the next crystal location is in this game i know where that extra crystal crystal location was so 
don't really need that off the start. It doesn't really help in the long run. But I'm now sort of going to go into sort of learning the lessons that I had from that defense and I'm starting to rebuild up what I need to do. So obviously that pinch point that was on the screen, I'm now going to start to exploit that, put some more towers there. Um, I obviously did put one too many down so my units wouldn't have been able to get around there. So I'm going to start to do that. While they're building that, I'm now starting to look at how can I effectively do that other one? Because I know at that point as well, my next Death Knight is from below. It's the only one that's got left. But moving back over to um, sort of the defences and that pinch point, I'm going to try and just leave a, a gap so the units that I'm building can get through. And then later on, I will go back and just plug them holes with the walls and the extra sort of fortifications. But then Fortify Towers, really, really good with the Arbalists. Absolutely amazing. So yeah, learning them lessons, that's the, I should have exploited that before. Really, really so good. Generally, build-wise, I like to have um, some walls at the front, like four, three, well, three to five blocks if possible. Um, two lines of sort of arbalist towers or the fortified towers. Then ideally some impalers behind that. And then the grand ballista behind them. Really, really good. I've got a setup, uh, which I'll showcase a little bit later for that. Um, and now skipping forward on to sort of the next Death Knight. And here's a mini mock-up of what it is. There's a really good kill zone in the middle there, which I sort of, I could have just left, and I'm glad I didn't. And I did an additional um, setup there. Wasn't perfect. I should have put some more walls down. It was a little bit um, lax. Only the three sort of walls there. And with the amount of units coming... It, it actually doesn't survive. That that front defense that I briefly showed there does not survive. But again, still thinking ahead. I'm still thinking at this point, final stand, what do we need? We need units. I'm doing some impalers. I'm doing some the flamers. I can't remember what they are on the top of my head at the moment. Um, mitosis, 50% chance for crawlers to spawn when a special enemy is killed. Not the worst um, malice I could have got. But as you see here, I've only got three sort of... Um, Defences, and at one point, sort of on the left-hand side, I've only got the two, so they don't actually survive. But, you know, going back from what I said a couple of moments ago, I learned from this for the next wave, and this doesn't get penetrated in at the final stand. So, again, use these things. Right, right. I can see here on the left-hand side, looking at it now, just post-commentary, there are two... Uh, there's only two walls. So they've only got to get two walls for the hit a tower. Towers are more squishy than a wall. And they can start to get through. And then once they get through and start eking out that defense, um, they're, they're going to get through. The other mistake that I made here is I didn't have a, a wall of impalers behind, which would have started once that first wall has gone down here, my impalers would now would have been starting to attack. So if there had been some impalers behind the towers, impalers would start to knock them back, giving me more chance to defend. And again, I would have survived. Well, this front bit would have survived, which it doesn't, which is good. There's, you know, 6,000. I've, I've cleared like a thousand bit already. And I'm sort of thinking, okay, maybe I can, the, the left is okay. A couple of things to note here, who's doing the damage? The big boy, which my sort of sword is over at the moment. And I'm trying to force fire on him. He's doing some good damage on the walls. The main killers here are the Lenin, Peyton Mannings, Joe Brady's from the, from the back launching them sort of aoe bombs from the back they do a lot of damage so if you can try and focus fire them down if you can get access to them um that's really really good this is also where impalers helps because they can reach them uh, you know and like the big guys and knock them back allowing you to do that defense um a couple of things to note here that the towers are all as i said all done by arbalists and they do some great defense but i'm now starting to panic um, because I'm sat here thinking I've got three and a half thousand to go. They're going to get through. So I'm thinking, okay, what happens if they don't get through? I need to start building walls and things. Um, so, uh, yeah, I come back up and, and start to build a few more walls at the top. Because I know at this point, this setup here isn't going to survive. And again, mental note, take forward how are we going to do that. Again, a couple of things, a couple more extra walls at the front few impalers at the back and I think I would have been fine so uh yeah that's the that's the keynote again lessons learned always learn your lessons understand the path in that they take and I'll come on to that shortly 
understand where did they breach where did they penetrate through and again if you've saved a couple of days before especially on the easy modes you can go back in and plug them holes quite easily without losing that two hours of progress so uh yeah at this point i'm going okay they're going to to take this down but this was the secondary defense that i put up in the sort of the interim time between the last death night and this death night so again wasn't expecting it to 100 percent stay i was hoping so on high difficulties this obliterated it and I probably would have potentially been obliterated and I'd have had to reset and reload it. But um, as you can see here, here comes the panic of the walls. Luckily, with that 15% uh, sort of decreased time to build, they get built in time, which is really, really good. So we're only down to a sort of 1300 to do. They're going to take down the two turrets here and they're going to come into the actual kill zone. And this is one of the great things that um, I had in this map. I had a couple of them, actually is attacking from from two zones and you saw i took my two arbalists and took them off to the left to try and split their forces ideally they, they would have gone normally gone straight um because that's the shortest route to the keep um but that sort of has split them out quite nicely so they're getting pummeled from both i'm doing damage from all sides the towers all overlap each other so there's there's a good kill box there for them but they're only attacking certain things they're not all focusing down on sort of three pieces of wall they're attacking loads of walls so they're surviving a lot more i've also here got my impalers doing some good work you'll see the stun symbol coming up every now and then and you also see them getting knocked back this is allowing the walls more time to not get hit so i can actually do some repairs you can see the repairs coming up on screen and that helps me defend this and again lessons learned here was my walls were too thin um and I didn't have the impalers behind, which if I would have done, I think they wouldn't have breached through. But we're down to 40. Again, thinking about how to go next. And then uh, we're going to get our blessing again. So I'm thinking here, as you can see here, repairing. I've got the forge up on building more impalers. Starting to think about how can I get that interim time. There's one enemy left here. I try to get my, you know, an impaler through. I, I stupidly sell a, a couple of buildings to try and get him through, and he sort of doesn't. And then the thing just dies on his own, so um because he's sort of stuck in no man's land but again i'm moving some units around to rebuild up that that place because there's only way, one way to get access into there and that was through the bit that they've just cleared so i'm now starting to move a lot of resources into that area at this point i get a blessing um so nightmare fuel or daybreak i could have used either or here it doesn't really matter that at this point with the final stand approaching it doesn't really matter um they, none of them were helpful so again it didn't matter skip forward now to sort of the final stand and yeah i'm going to give you an overview of sort of the routes that they're going to take so we've got 30 seconds before we go and we'll click start on that shortly and uh, yeah just hunting down the area so the first place is just there you can see the hue and it's going to come all the way down south could potentially go into the right there that's a bit wary but i don't think it does and yeah and i've got this set up here with some um bellows which i come on to and there's my secondary defense as well before it goes into the keep which i've just gone over there it is, Paul. So yeah, so I've got an out of defense and a secondary defense. We've just seen this defense and there's my new and improved defense. That holds perfectly. Absolutely loving that. Again, still the setup is what we were talking about before, but again, a secondary defense as well. So it's got to go through two really strong defenses. The bottom one, and there's the new and improved. Lots of walls with some impalers, lots of range. Absolutely perfect. Holds troops. I've got a load more walls. Excellent. Now, here's a mistake. Here is a mistake. So I here's the perfect defense on your screen right now. Four or five walls, archers, impalers, more walls, and flamers doesn't get touched because they go into there. Now that's my backup that I was sat there thinking about on the screen was my backup. That's the primary route. And the final one, it should be nice and easy. Come straight down and uh pull. Okay, go straight down into some defenses, which are quite weak. A couple of things to note and what I would recommend is once you've it ticks over to zero and you start to get um you know the waves coming out highly 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 recommended that you go and check or check every single route that they're taking are they going on the same route that you think they're going to do and if they're not go and have a look at what defense they're about to hit if there is a really poor defense to stop reload your save back to your save even if that means 20 minutes of play is lost and reset up your defenses for what it was. 
first one here is coming down it doesn't turn into that crevice so that's great second one this is my that's my weakest one there and this is the one where i'm going okay they should be going south they should have gone should have gone south nope and they're going to go to my secondary defense i'm sort of panicking there that's coming up from the bottom again we've just seen that one anyway that's fine and this is my new defense that's just absolutely ripping them couldn't do a lot of that other defense because there was some resources there so i've got a couple of panics here this on the screen at the moment is my first panic because that's my secondary but again still set up the same it's got my grand blisters it's got some impalers behind it's got a lot of arbalists in towers start to try and think about pulling here and pulling some resources down i'm glad i didn't because i'll have actually taken around the back of me uh, and they'll still have gone to the same place um i should have done that uh, further to the right but you can pull it's not 100 percent guaranteed for pulling um, but if they're not going the right way you can sometimes pull them down um to your resources and again at least get that split um so yeah just starting here now assessing all of my units you know thinking how are they good but luckily apart from what's on the screen at the moment that's a big one the others are all quite pinch pointy so i've got a lot of defenses like this one going into a very small area time a place and their numbers count for nothing so one of the things to sort of think about here and as, as you can see the grand uh, bellow towers are on on the screen just to showcase them out they're really good at killing minions um not amazing but i thought i'd just put them in there for for the giggles because you know it was a really really good defense um and i just wanted to shore up a little bit more there but a couple of things to note here so each of these zone amount of enemies coming out here is roughly the same amount as a as you would to do uh, at that last death night but it comes out of every single one so you know you've got six thousand here six thousand here six thousand here so you, you need to survive that final wave before the final stand out of every single place all at once so you need to have the same level of good defense across the whole board so yeah you just need to, to make sure you're doing that and then at this point you start to look at right which ones are holding good which ones are not holding so good so my secondary defense that i was first panicking about i'm actually sat there thinking okay that's holding quite nice the top here is a bit of a panic um this is sort of the the one off to the left again had great confidence about that because of the grand bellows and now my sort of the first defense that we had there is just obliterating them brilliantly this is the secondary defense that we've done again they're pushing down the left um not so much more to the right but because there's still defenses down to the right there is some enemies over there trying to take that out so it's not all focusing down the front again splits out the the damage that they're doing means that i can hit them and again my main focus here is this top one because i'm scared of it but we're clearing through them pretty quickly the impaler's doing some jobs they're starting to get into the towers but i think you know we've got a secondary defense behind that and we're down to two and a half thousand at this point so i'm feeling really really comfortable but again don't forget if you are struggling reposition your um units out um and just re you know reassess them it's the only time that movement speed is really really good you know move, move them people if you need to but at this point again coming up to a thousand feeling really really good um you know that front defense is going to hold pretty pretty well down to 750 yeah i'm feeling good at this point really really comfortable that we we're going to get the the victory on this and again it's a showcase of different you know exploiting them pinch points you know my bellow towers have gone but they've done their job they've taken a lot of damage while the other units as well just kill you know the archers the arbalists and the towers are great against them elites so you should be using them and the ballistas are really really good they have big splashbacks on them so he should be going down there he goes let's move off to the next one and uh yeah Our buildings are under attack. 25 to go and my secondary defense here it's nearly got breached um again if this had been on a harder difficulty i'd have had to have probably come back out and just repurpose some defenses probably you know there's a couple of pinch points there that i could see um but yeah that is the victory and you can see their defense is really really good we're coming up to the victory so yeah just make sure you build up the walls have then a line of your archers behind your archers try and get some impalers behind your impalers get your ground blister out if you want to throw out some ground bellows please do but i think you know that is the best way of doing it and yeah here comes the victory and uh, yeah, I, I think if you can set up your defenses like that, you will, you're going to do that. Obviously, you need your resources, and I've done um, some videos on on resources. But yeah, 
Thank you very much. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really, really does help me out. I'll see you guys in the next one.